This guide shows you how to update to the Windows 10 October 2018 update. Now, this update should automatically come through to you, but if it hasn't or you're dying to try it out, then here's a manual way to update to it. First of all, we need to open Microsoft Edge, either by the icon on the desktop here, or by the E down at the bottom of the screen here, the dark blue E, or we can left click on the start button and just type the word Edge on our keyboard. And under best match, Microsoft Edge appears. When that appears, click on it once. Then, when Microsoft Edge is opened, all we do is, in the address bar at the top of the screen here, we type Microsoft.com. Forward slash software minus download. And then press enter or return on our keyboard. When this page is opened, just move your mouse over Windows 10, just here, and left click once. Then it says to us, do we want to update now or download the installation media? If we left click update now, then it says, what do you want to do with Windows 10 upgrade 9252.exe 5.8 meg megabytes from download.microsoft.com? Move your mouse over the word run and left click once. It's now running a security scan and once it's downloaded, it will say, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? We'll make sure it says Windows, uh, Microsoft Windows. Make sure that the verified publisher is Microsoft Corporation. If these match, then move your mouse over yes and left click once. The Microsoft Update Assistant will now appear and it says check in for updates and it now says update to the latest version of Windows 10. Okay, so move your mouse over update now and then left click once. Now I should say in actual fact before clicking this make sure that you've got a backup of any important files on your computer before you do this because although the updates do seem to be quite reliable there's always a chance in an update that it could crash and you could lose information so I must stress again please make sure that you've made a backup of any important files before following this guide. I will not take any responsibility for any files lost during following this guide. So uh, as I say we uh, left click update now and it's just checking the compatibility and then as long as everything's okay there move your mouse over next and left click next. And this bit will take a while because it's got to download the update file so depending on the speed of your internet connection uh, this might take a while uh, to download. So I'll come back to this uh, when it's uh, in the next phase. It just went for a process of verifying the download and now it's actually updating. So uh, this again, this, this part might take a while. So I'm gonna come back to it when it's nearing the end of the, uh, the update uh, for this part. So the, uh, the update has now finished and uh, it says save your work and leave your PC plugged in and turned on. Um, so you can either Right now, wait 30 minutes for it to restart itself, or if you wanted to delay the restart of the computer, you can click restart later, or if you're ready to do it now, and bear in mind, this might take um, a long time, it says, usually takes 90 minutes or less to complete, um, but in some cases, if your PC is very slow, it could take many, many hours. I've had one PC that took 28 hours. So uh, if, it, if it's convenient to restart now, then move your mouse over restart now and left click once. The computer will shut down now. It won't be usable uh, for a little while. So it says you're about to be signed out. Windows 10 update assistant will reboot your device to complete the update. So uh, just uh, left click close here and uh, you'll see in a sec the PC will reboot. Now it might take a little bit of time to reboot, uh, but that's fine, just leave it. And there we go, it's now restarting.
and here we go it says working on updates don't turn off your PC this will take a while your PC will restart several times so uh, we're just going to leave this to uh, to run and uh, we'll come back to it as it's nearing the end of the uh, this part of the installation okay so the computer's restarted uh, a few times I think three times now and uh, we're nearly at the end of the updates and there we go it says working on updates a hundred percent this again sometimes will stick at hundred percent for a while so uh, just be patient and here we go we're now logging back into uh, Windows now we've got the famous hi message we've got some updates for your PC this normally comes up when there's uh, major updates for the PC this might take several minutes, don't turn off your PC. These updates help protect you in the online world and here we go, almost there. Okay, so uh, it's come up and asked us uh, for our preferences here. So it's uh, asking us to choose our settings. Now, it doesn't really matter what you choose on here, but I always select the bottom answer on these. So I'm not gonna use online speech recognition. So I click that and then click accept. Um, I'm not gonna let Microsoft use our, uh, and apps use our location, so I click on no and click accept. Don't wanna use find my device, so I click on no and click accept. Don't wanna improve inking and typing, so I click on no and click accept. Don't wanna get tailored experiences with diagnostic data, so again, click on no and accept. Let apps use advertising ID, click no and click accept. And there we go, just a moment. And as you can see now, it's come up. Welcome to the October update. So start here to see what's new. So there we go. That's how we update to Windows 10 October update. You can have a look through this if you want to. If not, we can close this down here. And uh, we've got a little box up here that says, thank you for updating to the latest version. And well, it's cut the end off, but I imagine that says, of uh, Windows 10. Okay, so this seems to be stuck on my screen, this thank you for updating to the latest version. Oh, um, hopefully it hasn't on yours. But I have paused this video for a good five minutes just to see if it disappears. I can't click the cross there to get rid of it. Um, so what I'm gonna try is I'm just gonna try restarting the PC. So um, like I say, if this isn't stuck on yours then you don't need to do this but I'm just gonna left click the start button. Okay, and when the start menu appears, I'm gonna move my mouse over the power button just here, left click that once, and then move my mouse over restart, and that's restart. We don't want to move it over shutdown, move it over restart, and left click once, and the computer will restart. I'm just gonna pause this video while it's restarting, and we'll come back to it to see if that box has disappeared. And there we go, the computer's restarted and that box has disappeared. So there you go, that's how to upgrade to the Windows 10 October 2018 update. Hope this guide helps.